So we were there actually selling Pier 7 and 8. Uh, a lot of interest in, uh, in, a, in a project of that significance, a, a signature project that uh, is equal, equally a, an investment in the future of our city. So it's ironic because we we're, we're upfronting $80 million of infrastructure money to set the stage. But we have no guarantees as yet as to what the return is going to be, and that's what we're looking for. So we're out there selling the project, uh, telling financiers that this is available here in Ontario, and uh, we met a number of people that have some significant interest. So hopefully that'll broaden the reach of uh, people that are capable of doing this or give them an opportunity to participate in the consortium, uh, and then uh, you know hopefully get the best possible product at the best possible price uh, for a development on Pier 7 and 8. So that was the cons part of the trip. Uh, then we went over to Leipzig. Mm. Uh, Leipzig is a, in, in the heart of East Germany. Uh, lovely city, uh, you know, now getting uh, significant investments and very similar, in fact, to Hamilton. It's had a very challenged post-industrial past and uh, it is now heading towards many of the same things that we are doing. So we are partnered with the Fraunhofer Institute, which is uh, going to be an institute that uh, will be housed at the McMaster Innovation Park. Uh, we have uh, continued to develop a relationship with them because we look forward to uh, bringing some of their researchers here to create the kind of biomedical uh, research and advanced manufacturing research that can actually turn into products built right here in Hamilton. And then we met with uh, several companies that have an interest in bringing their company to the city of Hamilton. Uh, and so, you know, for me, it's always about working two ends of the issues that are most significant for us. Economic development and providing jobs and poverty. And they go hand in hand. Uh, if we, uh, we cannot solve the poverty problem uh, singularly and solely by throwing money at it, we have to nurture the poverty issue by providing education and opportunity. And at the same time, we have to provide jobs and employment opportunities that uh, are landing right here in Hamilton that can uh, fulfill those future, future uh, child needs. So I'm, wor I'm, I'm working both ends of the issue here. And I think that, that we need to continue to, to tell our story uh, around the world and in other mm -hmm. communities because uh, as we make our investments like LRT, we become a much more attractive community to businesses that want to have a good quality of life for their employees, want to want to bring their employees to a, to a place that has vibrancy and good culture, good public transportation, and good access to recreation and education. We have all of that. And so uh, as we build those investments, we also build our community and build opportunity for our residents. City Matters at noon, 4, 6, and 10 p.m. on Cable 14 and anytime on Cable14Now.com.